Rogers? It certainly is, Penny. This is where they make scotch tape, you know. What? Is this the lake where the monster is supposed to live? <laughs> Maybe that's why Chief Crimby sent you up here. Don't be ridiculous. There are no such thing as monsters. You can take my word for that. There is absolutely nothing in that lake. I wouldn't be so sure, Gadget. You can never tell what lies below the surface. You're right, Mad Cat. tells you what to do. It's here somewhere. Oh, gadget! Oh, no! Got it. Phew. It says pull over and stop. Well, I did that. Say, this road has certainly got much smaller. They ought to put up a warning sign. Something. Is that you, Chief? Speak louder, I can't hear you. But, Uncle, it's Chief Quimby. I know that, Penny. I mean, he's here. Oh, sorry, Chief, I didn't see you. There was a sheep in the way. Read this note, and look at this picture. Professor Thumpkin, world's leading scientist, has just arrived in Scotland to search for the lake monster. Dr. Claw will try to kidnap him. Your mission is to protect the professor from the forces of man. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. I'm always on duty. With Gadget on the job, Funkin is as safe as you are. Look, Gadget, just... Just going for a walk. 
Why would you take the whole lab? You mean the lab's gone too? That's right. Hmm. It's just a suspicion, but I think the professor's disappeared. Penny, you wait at the hotel. I'm going to look for him. Okay, Uncle Gadget. Be careful. I'm always careful. That's what makes me a great inspector. I'll never understand why they put trees in backup zones. I'm worried. Uncle Gadget is supposed to protect Professor Fumpkin from Dr. Claw. Keep an eye on Uncle Gadget, Brain, but don't let him see you. I'm going to set up a radar computer on the far side of the lake and see if I can locate that monster. I'll see you later. Now let's work this out logically. Professor Fumpkin wanted to see what was in the lake. If someone wants to see, he has to get up high. What's high? A tree. Therefore, Professor Funkin must be up a tree. Professor? Come down this minute. I know you're up there. All right, I'm coming up after you. Go, go, gadget arms. Here I come. Of all the times for my spring to break. Go, go, gadget arms! Go, go, gadget arms! He must be up another tree. Gadget doesn't even suspect we're here. He says for a surprise, isn't he? I hope this radar screen works. I've never used it for an underwater search. There's something there. I knew it. Boy, it's big and fast. If it would only come closer, I might be able to get a picture scan. All right, Professor. I've got you this time. What was that? There's something there. Now for my gadget camera. Ah, the camera never lies. Look at that, why it's horrible. What if it's captured the professor? Don't worry, professor. I'm coming.
looks like something from Professor Pumpkin's mobile laboratory. Are you all right, Uncle Gadget? Mm -hmm. Oh, Penny, yes, fine. It takes more than an underwater creature to worry your uncle. I didn't think you saw it. Oh, of course I did. I was just about to catch it. What? Oh, right. Uncle Gadget is... Sorry, Penny, no time now. I'm hot on Pumpkin's trail. <laughs> Gadget. Look at all this junk. Now if I could just find a trash can. Ah, what do you know? Protection. 
Surrender? Inspector Daggett never surrenders. Besides, I think I found the computer connection. A delicate little twist of the gadget wrench. <gasps> oh, no! See? No need to be alarmed with gadget on the jaw. <laughs> to be just fine. Gosh, look! It's out of control! The guidance system must have shorted. It did! I knew it! See? It's in its head! We've got to get up there and turn it off! too far. And if you go out in a boat, make sure you've got a life jacket for each of the passengers. And don't load too many people in one boat. That can be very dangerous. <laughs> That's right, Brain. Most of all, don't swim in lakes with monsters. Monsters? Where? 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 